Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Absolutely gorgeous morning here at the beach. Beautiful clear blue skies, 62 degrees right now. Expecting a high of oh, up around 84 degrees today. Absolutely gorgeous. Water temperatures just about 80 degrees now. Look at that beautiful, beautiful blue sky this morning. All the way around. Wow. Happy hump day. <laughs> Roy. Yeah, there's some sea foam on the beach. He is just always fascinated with that. Go say hi to him. Say good morning. See how he's doing. And I can tell you the answer is going to be wonderful. Glorious. He loves looking at the bubbles in the sea foam. Hey Rob, how you doing? What's up, Captain? Well, I was looking at the beautiful rainbow bubbles. I figured as much. Yeah. I saw that out here and I'm like, oh, Roy's going to be looking at the sea foam. Remember that other time when the foam, when the bubbles were so big? Oh, yeah. Those rainbows? Wasn't that something? Oh, I haven't seen that since so big, but these are really beautiful. There's some smaller ones and a lot of rainbow colors. There's some more down here. Yeah. There's some, oh, some bigger, bigger clumps of the foam down there. Yeah, I just love it. Oh, boy. What a beautiful morning, huh? Oh, isn't that glorious? It, it is the gorgeous out here this morning. Up? Bye, George. <laughs> Tide's still going out, I think. Yeah. So, how you've been the past few days? Oh, Good? wonderful. Just wonderful. How about you? Oh, great, great, great. Everybody's asking about you when you aren't here. They always say, have you seen Rob? Where's Rob? Oh, so working, you're, you're working. You're a fa famous guy. Everybody look forward uh, to seeing you. You're the one that's famous. No, not at all. <laughs> you're the one they want to see out here. No, yeah. I don't know why. See, I got a kind of a thought. I wanted to bounce off of you a little bit. Oh, okay. And, What's that? In fact, you're you're the one who's kind of got it uh, got it augmented. Really started. Oh, really? Yeah, because you're always asking me what's the good word of the day. Right. And I have to kind of uh, fish around and dream up something <laughs> hopefully worthwhile to 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 espouse to you. But anyway, I I thought that maybe I should gather all those thoughts together. And I'd, I'd like to make a presentation at some... Like put them in writing. Well, yeah, writing maybe eventually, but I'd like to say how how I've lived to be 94 or well, 95. Well, let's do that. And I, maybe make a presentation to some interested groups. I don't quite know what groups. But, but why don't we start with one right here on Facebook? We'll practice it. We'll test it on our audience one day. Well, that'd be interesting. So I'm kind of compiling a lot of that note, notes cool. on things I could could um, uh, discourse about and maybe have a few little hopeful tips to uh, uh, give people some thoughts about how to uh, uh, enjoy uh, how to longevity. enjoy life and yeah yeah absolutely enjoy life and longevity. Your, your life experiences throw be, them yeah that would be, be awesome and happy you think that would be, be great worthwhile? I think that'd be awesome and I'd like to maybe travel around or talk to different groups and Hopefully they'd pay my travel expenses and maybe give me a Well, few. go to, you know, do you go to all these places, start right here in Naples with all these, you know, these places like Bentley Village and places like that where, you know, they have the seniors there, you know, they, you go in and, oh yeah, that'd be a great place. They all have little community rooms, you know, community yeah. centers. Yeah. And I know with our choir, we like, sing, yeah, we sing where you went to, Village yeah, to that and, Arbor Trace. And, yeah. And, yeah. Places like that. Start there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I could call them up and ask them if they want to 
have somebody uh and then once once you get going maybe you could even get into to the schools and talk to the little kids <laughs> get them get them while they're young and impressionable that's right get them on the right track before they start smoking and drinking there you go get them on the right track of life that'd be yeah. awesome all right well get yeah. get working on that yeah. you can you can use facebook as your um your test, your proving ground. Well, I appreciate that very much. And everybody would love to hear those stories. <laughs> well, I thought I'd gather them together and make maybe, what, a half hour, hour presentation. So, yeah, you know, that'd be something great. Where if I could go to some organization and give them yeah. the pitch. You just I, have, like, notes, right? That's what you're talking yeah, about. Just yeah, write some notes to trigger your... Notes yeah. Mostly it's just I'd speak extemporaneously, which I think is more interesting for people, but... I'd refer to my notes to make sure I, you know, get it all covered. Oh, that'd be awesome. You think and then let people while? ask you questions at the end. That's yeah. where you'd have oh, the real yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. And then I thought I'd throw in a little humor. That's uh, People always like some humor, you know. That's what we're here for, humor. Yeah. You know, I told no, you about old Ron's story about... Uh, the God uh, interviewing the guy and giving him uh, his wish. Uh-uh. Oh, I didn't tell you that? If you did, I forgot. <laughs> well, uh, the, the, the fellow comes up to uh, heaven and uh, has an interview with God, and God uh, kind of looks him over and says, uh, you know, you, you've been a good man on earth, and I, I'll i uh, I'll grant you a wish if you got some wish you want. And the guy says, yeah, yeah, actually, uh, I, I always wanted to get out to Hawaii, but um, I, I'm afraid to fly, and, and I get seasick on boats, so what I'd like you to do is build me a bridge from California to Hawaii so I can <laughs> drive out there. And God says, well, I don't know. He says, that's an awful long bridge. I, I don't know about that. He says, have you got another wish? And, and the guy says, well, yeah, yeah, I do have another wish. Could, could you uh, please uh, tell me how I can um, understand women? And God <laughs> says, uh, how many lanes do you want in the bridge? <laughs> <laughs> Much easier to take care of that wish. <laughs> There's one for you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. <laughs> how many lanes? I always uh -oh. think of that and laugh. Yep. How many lanes do you want in that bridge? <laughs> that was funny. That's a good one. So I thought I'd throw in a few little... Absolutely. Some nice... Some nice clean humor. People that's get great. a few yeah. laughs, and, and, oh, and then uh, also, uh, you know, if people think they're real smart, I told you about the smartest guy in the whole world, didn't I? Oh no! Oh really? Who is? It? Tell me about the smartest guy in the whole world. Oh yeah, well that's important. And uh, these guys were flying in this airplane. There were three guys and, and the pilot, and they're flying along, and and the pilot comes back to see the three passengers. He says, "I'm awful sorry to tell you this, but." Uh, We've got mechanical problems, and this plane is going to crash. We've got to, we've got to jump out with parachutes uh, right away. <laughs> but uh, you said the pilot says the problem is there's uh, three of you uh, plus me. There's four of us, and we've got only three parachutes. Um, and the pilot says, and I've got a young family. I've got a, a wife, and I've got young children. So I think I should have one of the parachutes. The pilot grabs a parachute, and out he goes. <laughs> Well, the pilot goes first. Oh, well, yeah, he's <laughs> out with a parachute. So then, then the next guy says, he says, I'm the smartest guy in the whole entire world. He says, and I've got people calling me up all the time for advice and counsel, and, and I can't let them down because I'm the smartest guy in the world and they need me. So I've got to have a parachute. So he grabs a parachute, out he goes. So there's two guys left. And, and one of them is a pastor, and one's a Boy Scout. And the pastor says, he says, look, young man, I've had a really good, long, excellent life, and uh, uh, you, you take the parachute and go ahead. I, uh, that's the thing to do. And the, the boy, says, boy Scout says, don't worry, we got two parachutes. The smartest guy in the world went out with my backpack. <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so that takes care of it. <laughs> so, oh, that's funny. <laughs> nothing like a good laugh. Yep, that's a good one. Oh, well, that was a great start to my day. 
<laughs> now all you gotta do is, I know you came up with a thought for the day. I gave you two days to think about it. But don't well, share it yet. Well, we gotta end our our chat later with the thought for the day. Well, my thought for the day is don't that share I'm, I'm, now. Hoping, uh, I'm hoping, I've already uh, told you about that's, it. I'm that's, hoping to, uh, to collect my thoughts and maybe um, uh, impart them to other people if they're interested. Well, let's see. well, when I get back, you can tell me what one of those thoughts are then. Well, we'll start with the first one. On the day you were born. Right. And what I'd like to do is somehow or other, I don't know how this works electronically, but if we could somehow go way back in all your Facebooks, and I could kind of that way uh, kind of remember what, what you always taught me into discoursing. <laughs> I'll have to get some help on that one because that that could be done. I don't but know. I have to get one of our retired friends here to help you with that because um, it's going to take some time. But I know there's it's all there on Facebook. Yeah, if it's I all could, there. That way, because you know my memory isn't too good, but uh, yep. you always had me come oh, up yeah. with something every day. Well, I remember a lot of the stories you told. Me. Uh -huh. I remember a lot of them, so I could I could just refresh your memory. That'd be good. Yeah. I might do that a little later this morning. Yeah, I appreciate that. All right. We'll talk about something later when I get maybe, after my maybe, beach walk Maybe here. even somehow you and I could get together on this, uh, on these little excursions to uh, make a dissertation. You, you probably have something worthwhile to say too. Me? Yeah, I think so. We'll just get in an argument about construction, about development. Do you remember that About discussion? About the environment. Do you remember that one? Environment, <laughs> yeah. sure, sure. <laughs> oh, you're a guilty party. Did you drive your car down here? Oh, heck no, I walked. Oh, you walked? Yeah. Well, that's good, because uh, if you drive your car, uh, you're guilty of destroying the environment. I'll tell you how. The car drives on roads. <laughs> and think of when they put down that blacktop, all of those poor worms and ants and beetles that they, oh, they got that they kill off with that of blacktop. Millions and That's millions. all part of the environment. And so anybody who drives a car on roads, uh, the roads are, are formed for the car and they're guilty. Well, that, that, destroying that would apply too. Back in the old days, if you were in a, in a wagon train. Yeah, just think the environment. The, the bugs with your wagon wheels too. Yeah, yeah. Even if you walk, so... And I, I, I'm sure you do. You live in a house. It must no. have a foundation. No, we live in a, up in a tree. I see. Because the foundation of the house. Think of all the worms and the and the beetles and the ants uh, that have been destroyed when they pour that concrete foundation. Isn't that something? Destruction of the, the environment. No, uh, we leave we leave the ants yeah. alone. We and then if you have a nice lawn out in front, just think of all the stinging nettles and poison ivy and brambles. That have been that have been cleared <laughs> off. That all that beautiful environment that's been destroyed to put down your nice grass lawn. Yeah, we let that stuff run wild. Yeah, so I mean, all that <laughs> poison ivy and all those beetles and bugs and worms and wasps and, and stinging nettles. That, that, you know, it's uh, too bad all that gets gets destroyed. It is. It's terrible. <laughs> but we have. It's a good thing we have people like you to kill all that stuff. <laughs> Hey, well, my point is, Mike, how you doing? Fine, you? Good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Where's all your Where's all your beach combing gear? I don't think today's going to be a good day. You don't think so? No, yesterday was pretty good. Why not today? This doesn't look it. Low tide. And... Oh, oh, there's a beetle in your beard. <laughs> a beetle in his beard. <laughs> mm. that's, that's quite a beard you got there, Thank young you. man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. That, Mike and, and Mary, they come out here fossil hunting. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, what do you, what do you think, Mike? Here, no, he's not a fossil. Here's a fossil no, right here. No, he's not a fossil. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be as energetic as <laughs> him at that age. <laughs> Let me tell you. Well, you know, I, I, once I grew a mustache, I, yeah. I was very proud of it. And I said to Audrey, how do you like my mustache? She says it makes you look older. <laughs> so zip, off it came. Yeah. Well, you had one not, oh, a year or so ago, you started growing a mustache. <laughs> I think For I... a little while. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember that. I suppose. Hey, 
It's bright out there, isn't it? Ooh, that sun is blinding. It really gets in your face this morning. It does. Oh, I love it. Uh, <laughs> it's, very soft. it's a wild man. It's a very, very soft beard. And, um, I just felt it. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice beard. And uh, he's, he's letting it grow in. Sometimes it gets down to a bad ear. Then he trims it up. Uh, oh, I see. He, he starts to in the wintertime, you let it go yeah. grow long. Uh, no, we're here in the winter. Uh, yeah, the that's, winter. Right. that's right. That's <laughs> right. That's oh, gosh. I think oh, it keeps your chin warm. Yes, yes it no, does. Yes, <laughs> yeah. No, no, I, uh, I like this beard. Oh, that's great. <laughs> All right, guys. Good luck. Thank you. Good to see you. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go for a walk, and I'll catch up with you here on the way back. So All right. Give it, give it a little thought, because yep. I think it's, it could be a worthwhile endeavor. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of people here on Facebook that probably help out with us, too. Well, I do really appreciate they that. Might, they might have some yeah, they might have questions, I, you know, for you that would well, you know, I, I thought stimulate of that too. some good while conversation. I'm, while I'm trying to uh, uh, divulge this to others, I could, I'm sure, learn some new things myself. Oh, well, there you go. Never too old people, to learn. Yeah, people come forward and say, hey, what about uh, uh, doing this and that, you know, and so I, I could. But through, could, through Facebook, we might. You be able to, might be able to get a better handle what people want to even hear about. Well, you know, to help kind of give you some. Furthermore, guidelines. I'm sure there's a lot of people that got a lot better ideas than I have. I don't know. I've learned what something. Did you, hang on, what did we find? That's one of those pieces I said where the shells have become crystal. Oh, look at that, Mary! We just picked it up. There's there's a that yeah. shell has crystallized. Oh my God! Inside. Yeah, that, there was another shell obviously in there at one point. Wow, oh that is actually Isn't that pretty? Yeah, a crystallized that's shell. Yeah. And that's just coming. so pretty. I love, and when the sun shines, See, I would have walked right by that on the did. beach. Right I, I would have walked. <laughs> I, didn't get, I didn't get to the beach yet. I did, I did not get to the beach yet. I've been chatting with Roy, but that is beautiful. Isn't that pretty? That is wild. I, you know, I don't know what to do with them. I just have them in yeah. jars and put them on shelves. Yeah. And so forth. No, Mary, that is very I, cool. I just think that's so. You got so quite pretty. an eye for finding well, Michael things like that. Oh. We, we can, <laughs> Kudos. We can give him credit for that one. Oh, that was nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, guys. All right. Yeah, see, see you on the way. See, yep. Right. See you later. All right. Go finish your walk. All right, and I'll catch up with you. Okay. All right, and we'll I'm continue. Glad you, I'm glad you like the idea because I'm excited about it, and I, I think it could be yep. worth, something worthwhile. All right. I'll see you in a little while. Good. Look forward to it. All right, Roy. Have a good time. I'm going to pick up a shell right down here by my feet. A worm shell. Look at that. There's a great-looking little worm shell right down there on the beach. Beautiful. There's a great little worm tip right there. I'm just gonna move down the beach here. We're just about at low tide. See what I can find. Lots of little tiny shells. Broken shells, partial shells. Our conchs. Some old conch shells down here. Nice little kitten's paw. That's interesting, Roy. Wanting to get all his thoughts together. Pretty much sounds like it's going to be the story of his life. That would be interesting to hear. And go out and make a presentation or presentations. That would be kind of fun. Huge project. And he's definitely going to need some help. So anybody that's retired and they live down here in North Naples and if you're interested in getting in on this and helping them out, that would be awesome. Just going back through all of my beach walks and letting them listen to the conversations that we had. That would be awesome. Helping them find those. He has a hard time on Facebook. He gets lost all the time on Facebook, clicking the wrong things. And he gets frustrated. We have down here. Boy. 
There's so many beautiful shells here. Little shells, big shells. Look at that sky this morning. Absolutely incredible. some of that sea foam that Roy's always checking out. He just gets a big kick out of the bubbles in the sea foam. They just look like little rainbows. You can see the sun glistening in there. He just is mesmerized by this sea foam. He just stops and stares at it. Mike and Mary are behind me walking up the beach. So they're gonna steal all the good shells on the beach. Gosh darn it. They're gonna beat me to them this morning. But you never know. The beach is constantly changing. With every wave comes something new. Absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. Hey, be sure to like our Nonstop Naples Facebook page. You gotta check that out, Nonstop Naples. There we're trying to share some of the other things to do in, around the Naples area in Southwest Florida. Southwest Florida Television. I spend most of my time here at the beach sharing that with our friends. But nonstop maples were a little broader. So check that out. Make sure you give it a like. Nonstop maples. Also download our free app for your mobile device. The nonstop maples app. Still doing a little work on the app, but it's there. That's Roy just ahead of me there, making his way down the beach. We're right in between areas three and four now. See, the sun hasn't quite made it up over the taller trees here along the shoreline. It's just about time for our sea turtles to start crawling up on the beach. Nesting season officially begins in May. Who knows, there could be a rogue sea turtle come up on the beach now anytime. So now is when you really want to make sure you don't leave any holes on the beach. Holes are always, you know, a danger to people, but also for our nesting sea turtles. We don't want them getting stuck in any holes. So be sure you fill in any holes that you or your kids dig on the beach. I'm going to turn around. Start walking north. Head up towards Wiggins Pass. That water feels great. I believe that water temperature is right up around 80 degrees. A 
what a gorgeous morning. I mean, this is absolute paradise here. I'm gonna snap off a quick picture, bear with me. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Only do one thing at a time, photo or video. This is I'm using an iPhone 8 Plus, if anybody's curious as to what kind of mobile device I'm using. And I have a little three-axis gimbal that I put the phone in to stabilize it, to help stabilize it. These little gimbals are pretty neat. You just Google iPhone gimbal, whatever, you'll find several different manufacturers of them. They're great little devices. They help make your little home movies look a lot more professional. It's a little hard to see in the water. See down at the bottom with these little waves breaking along the shoreline here. They stir up the sand. So you really can't see the bottom. There's a little snowy egret up ahead of me on the left. Out in the water looking for something to eat. Always amazes me how they can spot a fish. They got such keen eyesight. Beautiful little birds. They got little yellow feet, which you can't see now. Looks like they're wearing rain boots. Little yellow rain boots. shallower water. Now there's Roy heading back up towards us. You can see him off in the distance there. Great morning. You can see the condos of Park Shore there in the distance on the right. A great look down the beach. It's looking south. This condo is just behind the trees. That's all Vanderbilt Beach along Vanderbilt Drive. And off in the distance again, that's Park Shore, the Park Shore area of North Naples. Catch up with Roy again after I take my walk up to Wiggins Pass. Love watching those waves out there.
It is so peaceful. Our tourist season is winding down here, rapidly coming to an end. The population is really thinning out. The traffic is thinning out. This is when everybody gets their break down here, all the locals. We love having everybody down here, but we also like the peace and quiet of the summertime. More of that sea foam. If there's anything out here on the out in the water. Anything interesting? Part of a little black scallop shell. You never know what you're going to stumble across in the water. People find some really interesting things out here. Quite a few shark's teeth, but the neat, I find people find, actually find arrowheads out here, old Indian arrowheads. Our friends, Mike and Mary, that we were talking to earlier this morning, they find some really cool fossils out here. Got a lot of sand dollars out here in the water. Just offshore, there's a sandbar that parallels the beach and there's a lot of sand dollars on it. The sandbar's kind of out where these waves are starting to form. They're just hitting the sandbar. That's what creates these waves. Absolutely gorgeous morning. Another gorgeous morning in paradise. Over there, that's where Roy usually hangs out, up in area four over here. Up in that tree, that's our osprey nest. Right up in the top of that tree there. I'll zoom in a little. See if we see any movement there. See the nest in the center of the screen. I think I see an osprey just to the right of the nest. I don't know if I can get in any more, any closer. Getting so much glare on the screen right now, it's hard to see. I think there's an osprey over to the right. That's up at the north end of Area 4, where Roy hangs out. Look at that sky. That is gorgeous this morning. I come out in the water just a little bit more and look back at the beach and snap off a quick picture. I'll share that later. I just love the, the colors with the trees, the blue sky, the trees. Hang on, I'm going to take a photo. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm back again. Slowly walking north. I don't see a lot of shells on the beach this morning. 
quite in this area. Very, very few shells. Wow. The heck is this over on the beach? What is that? Huh. I don't know what that is. Looks like roofing, old roofing material or something. I have no idea what that is. It's a kind of Oh, it's some kind of big rubber mat that's washed up on the beach. So, I have no clue what that is. I'm sure the rangers will pick that up, though. It's pretty heavy, wherever it is. Look at all the little sandpipers running around here in front of me. You can see them all running around on the beach up there. Uh, and there they go, back to the water. Uh. Another little snowy egret over here. Here you can see his little yellow feet when the waves go out. See if he catches something here. Beautiful little birds. The little snowy egret. And a little further up the beach. Where'd they go? The little sandpipers are running around. I don't see them here. Where are they? There they are up there. See them running around? It's kind of a zoomed in look there, a compressed look up the beach. You can see all the condos all the way up to Fort Myers Beach. Wow. we haven't seen lately are any dolphins. I miss seeing those dolphins. They're out here. Just have not caught them. Not been out here at the right time. If you spend a day here at the beach, you're pretty much guaranteed to see a dolphin swimming along the shore. They're just on their own time schedule. Some shells up further on the beach here, up higher on the beach. Just not really seeing anything this morning yet. Not experiencing any of the symptoms of red tide out here. That's a good thing. Hopefully that crap has gone away. Ugh, that red tide was terrible. 
very, very bad this season. We hung around for a long time, that red tide. Gorgeous little shells. A little scallop. There's a little cockle shell over there. Right down there. There's a fighting conch shell over here. It's kind of hard to see. There's a nice little fighting conch. An empty shell. Beautiful, the fighting conch shells. The Florida fighting conch. Nice, em nice empty shell there. Always check, make sure there's no live animals inside anything you pick up at the beach. If there's something living inside, leave it here. Maybe place it back out in the water. Don't throw it, just walk out and set it down gently. That's the Florida fighting conch shell. What else is down here in this pile? I'm surprised. There's usually some worm tips. Some tips of worm shells buried in with all this stuff. Just kind of got to sift through it a little bit. Little baby mossy arc shell. Little baby mossy arc. There's another fighting conch shell. So it's got a couple little barnacles on it. Found any moon shells lately. I know they're out here. Just haven't spotted any of them. There's piece, there's part of a whelk shell over there, an old whelk. Piece of an old lightning whelk. Another nice little shell to hang on the shell tree. I'll put that in my pocket. shells up higher on the beach here. They're just kind of scattered all over the place. There's a piece of an old horseshoe crab scale. <laughs> shell. <laughs> scale. There's just a piece of an old horseshoe crab. They shed their shells. This isn't part of a dead one. They just shed their shells, the horseshoe crabs. That's just a piece of, that was a good size one there, too. Neat little piece of worm rock here. It's always fun to look at. See what you can find inside the worm rock. Usually you can find some shells and sell a little worm, worm tubes. The worm rock. Peaceful out here. Some pelicans flying by there. It's a nice little cockle shell. The cockle shell, very common, the cockles. It's a nice little cockle shell. You can find some pretty big cockles at times here.
anything down here. Lots of our common shells. I mean, there's always beautiful shells to find here and take home. I mean, the, the supply of shells never ends here. It's just an endless supply of shells. Every once in a while, you find a real gem. Look at that, there's a nice, nice scallop shell right down here. Looks like a nice one, let's see. Yeah, that's a beautiful scallop right there. Look at that. Nice colors. That's a gorgeous scallop shell. Beautiful. There's an osprey going, flying overhead, returning to its nest. Not sure if you can see it. It's probably pretty small in the camera there. Love coming out here in the morning. It's a great way to start the day. Listening to the waves. Checking out the seashells. And let's get up to the pass. Let's see what it looks like up at Wiggins Pass this morning. I can hear the ospreys behind me calling out. Where's, this might be the other, the front half of that horseshoe crab that we picked up earlier. Actually the back half, this is the business end of them. That's the back end of the horseshoe crab right there. The tail. There's a nice little fighting conch washed up here. There's times throughout the year where we'll just find, you'll see hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of these on the beach and they'll be alive. So obviously we don't take them home. Oh, here's quite a few of them here on the beach right now, right here. You can see the difference in the colors. Look at these. These are all fighting conks, nothing in them, all empty shells. You can see the difference. Some are darker, hang on. Some are darker than the others. Beautiful shells, the Florida fighting conks. Well, there's a bunch of them right along here. Some old worn out ones. It's an old one, piece of a fighting comp. Here's a neat shell. I always like showing this to people. First timers get a kick out of them, the turkey wing shell. The turkey wing, isn't that funny? <laughs> oh, there's another shell. We have here that's got a cute name, the kitten's paw. Let's see if I can find one here. Whenever I want to find something, I can never find it. Usually the kitten's paws are just everywhere. I'll come across one here, I'm sure, in a minute. There's another fighting conch. Another empty fighting conch shell. Where's a little kitten's paw? 
They're usually everywhere. Oh, worm tip. The tip of a worm shell. Worm shell, and there's a piece of worm rock. It's a little piece of worm rock. But you can really see the worm tubes there on the worm rock. Very cool stuff. All right, kitten's paw, where are you? Oh, another conch shell, another nice little scallop, piece of the scallop there. Another scallop over here. Nice little colorful scallop shell. Another fighting conch shell, a little smaller fighting conch. Another little worm tip. It has a little piece of the shell on the tip. Sometimes you can get these oh, 8, 10 inches long. Those are pretty cool. I can't believe the little kitten paw shell isn't just jumping out at me here. They're usually all over the beach. Now I want to pick one up and show it to you and I'm having a hard time spotting one. There's one here, not a very pretty one, a kitten's paw. Let's see if I can find one with some nicer color. There's another turkey wing. Boy, there are a lot of fighting conks up here. It's funny how the shells just kind of they're in pockets. Another fighting conk. I'll find a kitten's paw. Don't worry. There's another little clump of shells. I want to give you a look around. It's an absolutely gorgeous morning here in North Naples, at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Absolutely beautiful, clear blue sky. Some little waves breaking on the shore. Isn't that beautiful? Hey, if you're just joining, if you're new to our little to our morning beach walks here and to our group, be sure to introduce yourself. Let everybody know where you're watching from. I love all the little conversations that are going on in the comment section. That's so cool. Quite a lot of friendships have been made here on Southwest Florida television. It's pretty cool. What's really fun is I'll be walking the beach, especially in the winter time in the season, and somebody I'll hear, hey, Rob, hi, Rob. It's like somebody I've never met in person but has been following me on Facebook. That is so cool to actually meet people in person. Hey, here's something cool. We've got ducks out here on the beach. You heard me right, ducks. We've got a family of them here. Here's one of them. Usually we see them swimming out in the water. I'm gonna zoom in, see if I can get a shot of them. There's one of our beach ducks. I don't know what kind of ducks they are. But there's one of them right there. Pretty cool, huh? Ducks on the beach. See, everybody loves the beach. Turn around and look at me. What kind of duck is that? Anybody know what kind of duck that is? Where are you going? There's probably a couple more up in the woods back here. That's cool. 
Mountains up there in the dunes. See them there right by that marker, by that pole. Looks like we've had some more beach erosion. Not good. This beach is just constantly changing shape. They just let Mother Nature take its course here. Hey, quackers. Good morning. Well, he just took off. The duck just took flight. Well, let's go see if we, what else we find along the beach here. Goodness. Another little pocket of shells. More fighting conks down here. Big old clam shell. Find a lot of these clam shells. Certain times of the year, they're all over the beach. This is kind of an old worn out one. They make great little bowls for ashtrays. Florida fighting conch again. Quite a few of these up in Area 5 this morning. Another nice little scallop shell down here. That's, oh, it's got chip in it. Still a beautiful looking shell, a scallop shell. Another little interesting piece of worm rock. Every every piece of worm rock is different. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Everybody should have a piece of this in their shell collection. See some old oyster shells there embedded into the worm rock. Cool looking stuff. Other neat little shells we have, common shells are the slipper shells. Here's one, it's a little worn, a slipper shell. When you turn it over, you can see how it kind of looks like a little slipper, a little bedroom slipper, a slipper shell. I'm just amazed at how many conks are on the beach this morning. There's a nice conch shell right there. There's an older worn one over there on the left. Oh, here's a clam shell. Not that it's anything unusual, but it just has both halves of it here. The clam's gone, somebody ate that. There's a little clam shell. You usually find just half, the half of the shell. You don't find them open and together like that. That's kind of cool. It's a little clam. I'd love to find a live fighting conch, show you that on the Here's another shell. You never know until you pick them up if there's anything in it. Nope. Empty. Another empty fighting conch shell. That's a really nice looking one. But if there was one in there, you'd understand why they call them fighting conchs. They're feisty little critters inside these, the conchs. They put up a good little fight when you pick them up. They try to poke you. They have this little razor sharp foot with a point on the end. They try to stick you with it. That's why they call them fighting conks. Put one in your pocket by accident. You'll get a real surprise. <laughs> but look at the colors on the tip. Isn't that beautiful? Here's such 
gorgeous shells. I don't know if I can get it to focus in there. They're awesome looking shells. This is a real nice one. The Florida fighting conch. So if you're just tuning in here, we're up in North Naples, Florida, at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. We're at the north end of the park right now. We're what's called Area 5. Area 5 Beach. One is the closest, the most southern end, closest to the entrance. There's part of a whelk. Part of a whelk shell, a worn whelk. Another great little shell for the shell tree. may not know what the shell tree is. Well, we'll see that in a little. Oh boy. What's this down here? Is it whole? Almost. Look at that. There's a lace murex. Nice. Nice little lace murex shell. Wow. I did find something this morning that a nice little keeper, a lace murex. Great shell. That yeah, looks like a keyhole. That's a nice lace murex. That's definitely going in my pocket. That's a keeper. Here's a nice little cockle shell. It's a, that's a, like a, a small, I'd say that's a small cockle. Medium small. <laughs> Nice cockle shell. Kind of a pinkish color inside the cockles. Here's a fighting conch. Nothing. Nope, another empty conch shell. So far, all the conchs we've seen have had no, they've just been empty shells. There's another, another empty shell. Beautiful shells, though, the Florida Fighting Conch. Well, I thank everybody for joining me. Be sure to hit the share button, tell your friends. There are beach walks. Make sure you introduce yourself to the group here. Don't be afraid to make some comments. Join in the conversations that are going on here. I really can't see the screen out here on the beach. There's a lot of reflections on it and glare, so. I appreciate all the comments. I try to read them all later on throughout the day. Sometimes it just gets overwhelming. I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments made. And I love it, keep it up. And if you have any information to share about the beach, do so. Or if you wanna share something that's going on in your life, a milestone in your life, share that with the group. Jennifer, she quit drinking soda, good for her. Our friend Patty Knight, she quit smoking, I mean, Share your personal victories with everybody. That's what this group is all about. It's about creating new friendships. While enjoying God's beauty here. I usually wind up my beach walks with a little conversation with our friend Roy. So that'll be happening oh, in probably 20 minutes. Look at all, I'm just trying to get these little sandpipers. They're all running away from me. There's a whole pile of them up here. A pile of sandpipers, they're all taken off. You can see the erosion. I 
As I said earlier, this beach is just constantly changing shape and size. It's a Florida State Park. They kind of let Mother Nature run her course here. This beach has been here a long time though. I don't think it's going anywhere. This is really easy to find this place. You just get off I-75 at exit 111, which is a Mockley Road, exit 111. Head west all the way to the end of the road and it takes you right to the front gate of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Couldn't be any easier to get here. Of course, there's a small entrance fee to get in. Depends how many people are in your car. The fee varies. It's well worth it. And of course, the money goes to helping maintain and preserve this beautiful little chunk of paradise. Hey, how are you doing? There's one of our friends from the Netherlands in the blue. We have made friends from all around the world here at this beach. And on Facebook, check out where some of our friends are watching from right now. It's amazing. And all around the world, not just the United States. Got a lot of friends in Germany, in the UK. You can got some friends in Australia. over to here's one of our shell trees I, I picked up a couple shells to add to it here I know I had a couple requests from some followers to hang a shell so I'm gonna do that real quick I've got this piece of a whelk shell an old lightning whelk then I'm just gonna find a little branch and hang this on right here Let's see Quite a few shells there. But I've hung quite a few shells here for people. Let's see, where's a good spot? Oh, you want to get something close to the trunk of the tree. Here's a good spot, right here. I'll just put this right in here. There you go. So that shell there, that's for you guys watching. So a lot of these shells have been hung in memory of somebody that's passed away, a loved one that's passed away. So keep that in mind when you come across these trees covered with shells. Some people hang a shell as a decoration. Some hang a shell and make a wish. Some say a prayer. But a lot of people hang a shell in memory of a loved one that's passed away. So that shell right there, that's your shell for whatever reason. I actually have one more. I'll find a spot for that. It's another whelk shell. I'll hang that so you can decide which one you want. I'm gonna hang it up a little higher. There's a little branch sticking up right up here. I'm gonna put this guy, let's see how I can get it in there. Right, you know what, I'm gonna do it on this one way up here. Way up top there, come down through there, there we go. And a beautiful blue sky back there. Well, there you go. Let's take a walk up to Wiggins Pass. Well, I see Mike coming back and he's got his bag in his hand. Our friend Mike from New Jersey, or Mike and Mary are fossil hunters. He said it wasn't gonna be a good morning. Let's see if he found anything. Then we'll walk up, check out Wiggins Pass and then head back down to the beach and have a little conversation with Roy. Well, I see you got something in your bag. 
they turn better. They turn better. I knew it was going to turn around. Oh, nice. That's, Is that bone? That's bone. A piece of bone. And these are. Uh -huh. How do you just? I'm just curious. How do you know it's bone? All right, number. One. You have the brown and the black normally, and then you see all the styrations. Uh huh. Stones don't have styrations. Styrations. But how do you know it's not a piece of fossilized wood? It could be, but a bone bones would normally. More, bones are, more common bones, in the yeah. water. Yeah. Wood tends to sit in. Great. I mean, that's that's heavy. That is a fossil. It's definitely a rock. It's turned to stone. It's turned to stone. That is very cool. And then, of course, more of oh. the. Oh wow, the crystallized. Yeah. Now these are shells that are turning to crystal? These have turned, the center of the shell is crystallized. Wow. That's the internal part of the shell. It's hard to see here, but you yeah. can see the reflection of the shell that's actually crystallized. Yeah. That is so cool. That's, wow, that's a neat, now it looks like a piece of coral. Almost, but it's not. Wow, that's crystal. It's, it's crystallized. The inside of, what would it be? The um, like the oyster body or the uh, clam body. Oh, okay. That's what's crystallized. Oh, it's the flesh? Yeah, the flesh. has crystallized. Wow. Wow. If you'd like one. Oh, wow. Whoa. That's nice. I'm like, that's the only first one I have in my collection. <laughs> like, thank you. You're welcome. T take your bone back. <laughs> well, see, this is better. You didn't get skunked. <laughs> no, today we didn't get skunked. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Did Mary find anything interesting? Uh, I don't know what he's found. I think a piece of bone, uh, one shark's tooth. A shark's tooth this Real morning. Little a one. little one. Little one. Out in the water? No. I'm on the on beach. The, oh, the wow. Flat. Oh, we'll go see that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she's going to find it in that bag. Yeah. Oh. Oh, well. So you found a couple things, huh? Yeah, a few little things. Yeah, Mike said you found a little tiny shark's tooth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he said you'll never find it oh, in there. No. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. There he is. Oh, oh wow. Here. Nah, you oh, can't honey. even see him. He's, oh, yeah. he's so tiny. It's, we got some beach glass. Yep. Oh, yeah. we found a really pretty piece of green today. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. I thought I saw that. Yeah, that's a nice it's, thing. Uh, people are always asking if you find beach oh, yeah. glass here. Yeah, I, I just and, never pick it up. And but that's yeah. a really nice piece. Good oh, color. Yeah. Look at that. It's, that's a nice piece of glass. The sun shines through it. Yep. It's actually a little more worn. That Some must be a Heineken bottle. Yeah, it, although it's a little bit thicker. I think it's yeah, probably it, a wine it, bottle. It is, the, yep, probably a wine, yeah. whole wine bottle. bottle. Yeah, it's had a really, really pretty piece of off. Have you ever found thing. any of, oh, nice worm shell? Yeah. 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 I just collect all sorts of things. There's another piece of the, uh, the crystal. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. yep. that's a nice one. This was, yeah, that yeah. was the oh, one we showed you yeah, right at the is, beginning. Yeah, that is a very, yeah, that is really That pretty. is so neat, the way that crystallizes. Yeah, I love the, the whole look of them. They're yeah. so pretty. Don't know where that tooth went. Oh. <laughs> well, they're out here. Yeah. We, oh, yeah. There's a fact. You can find shark's teeth out here. Have you ever found any of that, um, you know, when the lightning strikes, the glass, yeah. where the yes. light, have you? Yeah. I'd yeah, I mean, that goes pretty deep, too. I'll throw, when, uh, we'll put a piece in our bag to see you. I'll bring it to you. It's a beautiful piece of clear with green attached oh, to wow. it. Oh, wow. Really, Is it really a pretty big piece? about this big. Oh, okay. So, you know. All right. Yeah. yeah, I'd love to show that yeah. to everybody. Yeah. That it's is really, neat. really interesting how they fuse together. Yeah, I mean, I've been here when the lightning hit the beach, mm -hmm. but I could never find yeah. where it well, hit. <laughs> I, think, I think when the lightning hits the water that is fusing glass that's together out there, but I'm really not sure because in Jersey, we uh, they used to dump for years off the coast. Uh -huh. New York used to dump. And they would dump their bottles out there. So we'll find chunks of it on the beach. Oh, wow. Where you've got four or five colors actually meshed together. Oh, wow. So it's very, very different. This is the first piece I've found here on the Florida beaches, this green and, and uh, well, clear. Well, that'd be neat. Yeah. So, yep. Look forward to seeing yep, that. We'll throw it in our pocket. All right. See, See y'all later. Great talking to you. Thanks for the crystal, Mike. <laughs> Such great people out here. I mean, everybody's just so happy and generous. I mean, go figure. How can you come out here and not be happy? Absolutely gorgeous out here. There's a little worm shell I picked up earlier on the beach. 
a nice little worm shell. It's got the tip and a piece of the shell over on the right there. It's a nice little specimen. This is Wiggins Pass, the north end of the Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. This is where you go if you want to do some fishing. This is where you would come. This is the only place you're allowed to fish up at the north end of the beach. No swimming allowed up here. Swimming only in areas one, two, three, and four. No swimming up in area five by Wiggins Pass. It's truly another day in paradise. They're just so blessed here in Southwest Florida. We have lots of sand dollars here and usually out in the water. Here's just, here's just a piece of a sand dollar right here. Just the, just the corner of a sand dollar. Beautiful, the sand dollars. Here's one of those kitten paws. Earlier, I wanted to, I was trying to find one to share with you. There's a kitten's paw right there. A kitten paw shell. Pretty obvious, huh? That's called a kitten paw. are always sending me messages asking when I what time I do my beach walks what days I have no set schedule for these walks everything revolves around my work schedule work comes first I wish this was my job I'd love to come out here every day and share this beauty with you but it doesn't pay the bills. <laughs> Another fighting conch shell. We have seen a lot, a lot of these Florida fighting conchs this morning on the beach. More towards the north end of the park. Florida Fighting Conk. Well, here's Wiggins Pass. Beautiful here. It's fun to, although you can't swim here, definitely it's against the law to swim across that pass. Don't get, don't do that. It's pretty dangerous with boats and there's a strong current running through there. In the mornings, you come out here, you can see some dolphins usually swimming around in the pass. This is a great place. To, nice chunk of beach here to set your chair up an umbrella watch the boats watch the fishermen on the other side of Wiggins Pass there that's Barefoot Beach Preserve another beautiful beach by there just over the boat. A beautiful morning, huh? Bear with me, I'm gonna snap off a quick photo. It's beautiful up here. Early in the morning at sunrise, this is where our friend Roy comes up. He's on his hands and knees and says his morning prayers up here as the sun's coming up. Beautiful. Looks like the tide's starting to come in here. It is absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. Look at that blue sky. It's incredible. There's a 
little snowy egret up here doing some fishing. Now let's turn around and head back down the beach, back down to Area 4 to see our friend Roy. Snap off one more quick photo, bear with me. Alright, let's head back down the beach. Some pelicans flying by. Very, very shallow out here. You can see the waves breaking along the sandbars, along the edge of Wiggins Pass. This pass has actually shifted over to the right. I don't know if you can see the red and green channel markers there. Boom, you see a pelican just dive into the water. Well, I had one nice little shell find this morning. Found a pretty nice little lace murettes. That was my addition to my collection today. Good morning. Good morning, how you doing? Good, good. A lot of people starting to show up here now. Yeah, keep an eye out for something along the shore here. You never know what, like I always say, every wave brings something new up on the beach. These are so cool, these little slipper shells. Little slippers, they come in all different colors and sizes. The slipper shell. Yeah, it looks like a little slipper when you flip it over. The slipper shell. There's a little piece of finger coral over here on the beach. Every once in a while you can find some nice big pieces of finger coral. Here's a little kitten's paw buried in the sand. Wash the sand off it. It's got some nice color on it, this little kitten's paw. That's a nice little kitten's paw right there. here oh it's broken a broken turkey wing shell it's a broken turkey wing <laughs> neat looking shells the turkey wings there's part of a crown conch. Beautiful shells, the crown conchs. That's just a piece of a crown conch. Those are beautiful shells when you find them, the crown conchs. That's just the side of one of them.
All kinds of little shells along the shore. These are the ones you got to just stop and take your time and look. You just never know what you're going to find buried in here. A lot of times you'll find little tiny baby whelks and moon shells. And you'll just find the little tiny baby shells in these piles. Another little kitten paw. Kitten's paw. Oh, you cat lovers. These are usually a favorite among cat lovers, these kitten paws. I know one of our friends, she just went crazy collecting those for a while on the beach. Just has bags of them. There's part of a jewel shell down here, a jewel box. That's half of a jewel box shell. The jewel box. Well, I got to get trucking here. Got things to do. Hey, be sure to check out Nonstop Naples Facebook page. Get on there and give it a like. There we share more of the things to do in, around the area in Naples and Southwest Florida. Whereas Southwest Florida television is more about the beauty of Southwest Florida. A lot of the beach here at Del Nor Wiggins, my beach walks being the highlight. There's another turkey wing shell. The turkey wing. Neat shells. Pretty obvious why they're called turkey wings, huh? Beautiful scallop shells along the beach here. Well, this one's got a little chip in it. It's still beautiful colors, beautiful scallop. Let's step out into the water just a little bit and give you a look back up the beach. We're low tide right now. See the pelicans out there. Also our dredging barges are out here. You see one of the barges out there. They're gonna be dredging Wiggins Pass. It is really closed up. Here's a look back up the beach towards Bonita Springs and Fort Myers Beach. I'm going to take a quick photograph, so don't go anywhere. The signal's going to get interrupted here for a second while I take the photo. Stick with me. Okay, I am back once again. Here's some of our trees that got knocked over by Hurricane Irma back in September. It's beautiful up here. These sea grape trees used to just overhang the water here. You can, it's just like a canopy walking along, a canopy of trees walking along the north end of the park here. But thanks to Hurricane Irma, they all got knocked over. But on the other hand, now it gave us more trees to hang shells on. see a few shells right here. Couldn't ask for a more beautiful morning. High of 84 today. That's clear blue skies. The 
soothing sounds of the little waves breaking along the shoreline. Oh, thank you. Hey, some more of our friends right here on the beach. <laughs> thanks for watching. And thanks for coming out here and enjoying it. <laughs> it's so neat seeing people from that follow us on Facebook out here. It's amazing how many people just take this beauty for granted. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Great. But there's, believe it or not, I know you folks watching from up north are going to find this hard to believe, but there's lots of people that live here in southwest Florida that never come out and take advantage of the beach. I know you find that hard to believe. A lot of folks up north would give their right arm to come out here, especially in the winter time. But there's actually people that live here just miles from the beach and they never come out. It's crazy. It's just hard to believe. It's like somebody was starting to make something in the sand. I don't know what it is there. They start, I don't know what that is. Some kind of sand castle. No idea. We can come out early in the morning and find some really neat sand sculptures out here especially in the winter time there's some really talented beach artists aren't the colors gorgeous this morning the blues and greens of the water this is incredible a couple of the fighting conch shells that we saw earlier this morning as I was walking up the beach. The Florida fighting conchs. Common shells. The Florida fighting conch shell. I saw a lot of those this morning. See, there's a pile of them over here. Look at them all down there. All Florida fighting conks. Even some old worn out ones. Just never know what you're gonna find along the beach here. One thing I'm missing are the dolphins. I haven't seen any dolphins lately. They're here. 
It's not visiting. You know, I'm going to take a quick photo. Bear with me. Don't go anywhere. I always enjoy taking a few photos and then sharing them later as I'm doing my beach walk. Unfortunately, the, sig the, or the feed gets interrupted when I take a photo. There's nothing I can do about that, though. It's just par for the course, and I apologize. Oh, is that a piece of a tulip shell down there? Yeah! Piece of a banded tulip shell. I have never found one of these, a big one. A banded tulip. That's just part of one. Beautiful shells, the banded tulips. And well, Roy's out on the beach this morning. He's not up under the tree. That's nice. Time is it's getting late here. I've got work piling up here. I really have a hard time leaving the beach in the morning. If anybody's rich out there and wants to subsidize me, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I'll walk out here and share this with you every day. love to get out here and share some sunsets. I'm just exhausted by the end of the day. But I am going to do my best to get out here for sunset and share some of our beautiful sunsets, especially in the summertime. Oh my gosh, our sunsets are incredible with the clouds, the big thunderstorms out in the Gulf and the lightning shows. It's just incredible our sunsets. I mean, don't get me wrong, we have beautiful sunsets in the winter too. But something about those summertime rains, those big thunderstorms we have, just make for incredible, spectacular sunsets. I don't know what this piece of garbage is on the beach. Some kind of big rubber mat that washed up on the beach. It's kind of half buried in the sand. The rangers are going to have to dig that out to get rid of it. It's right up by Roy where Roy sits. And it's a big, look at that rubber mat. It's really thick. You can see it here. It's like layers. It's got flooring or something. I don't know what it is. We had some pretty big waves last week. Some heavy onshore wind brought it up. There he is. There he is. My cooking man. <laughs> so, how was things going this morning? Fantastic. Always Been fantastic. Been hiding a lot of good beach friends. Yeah, a lot of nice people out here this morning. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh, have you seen any dolphins? No dolphins. No for dolphins. Quite a few days. A lot of them that other day, but since then, none. Huh. Yeah, I haven't seen any for a while now. I don't know where yeah, they that other day, I don't know, a few days back, boy, they were... You got a good show? ...tearing around. One, one even flew straight up in the air and flung a fish. Wow. And then did it again. Wow. <laughs> they had so many fish, they're just playing with them, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love the idea of you getting your stories together. Well, that's, that should that's be That's going to be fun there, yeah. Interesting endeavor and hopefully worthwhile. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try to think of some things that you talked about to give you some subject matter. Yeah, that'd be good. I know, I know there's people... They love hearing your stories. They, I mean, whether it's funny or serious, I mean, you always got something interesting to share with us, and they love it. I mean, well, life is life is lots of fun. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna give I'm gonna I want to see if I can see this screen here. I gotta get the glare off it. But does anybody 
I'm going to take a question here. You got a question for Roy? Does anybody want to ask Roy a question? Let's see if one pops up here, Roy. There's a chance. They're, a straight answer. they're sending you hugs. Well, I love hugs. Let's see if somebody types in a question for you. I know everybody, always, they're always asking where you're from. Well, I'm, I guess I'm from my mother's womb. You're from your mother's womb. Well, we're all from our mother's womb. <laughs> but they'd like to know what city you're from. we got to hand it to mothers, I'll tell you. God bless our mothers. Having the babies and bringing up the babies and yep. taking care of them and taking care of their husband and taking care of the household. Boy, women are really something, I'll tell you. Well, Maggie, she wants to know what you're reading. Oh, what I'm book reading, are you reading today? Really, really good book. Near Death on the High Seas. Near Death True on Stories the... of Disaster and Survival. Quite good. My son John gave it to me on my uh, December 2008 uh, Christmas. How about that? There you go. December 2008. Well, that's a few years back. Here, about let's 20, see. If... 20 years ago. <laughs> so, anyway, like. Here, somebody wants to know. How long you've been coming to this beach? Oh, bet... I'd say ever since we moved to Florida around 20 some odd years ago. 20 years? Yeah, I'd say around in there. Have you been coming to this pretty much the same spot? Yeah, pretty much. This this is the secret spot. Near it, at the north end of parking lot four. Yeah, really? I got my big pine tree. I remember that big pine, I'll tell you. Wow. <laughs> Let's see, here's another one. Let's see. Uh, there's an easy one. Somebody wants to know how old you are. <laughs> <laughs> we all know the answer to that one, but go ahead and tell them. Well, I was born in 1924. There you go. I'll, I'll let them do the arithmetic. <laughs> <laughs> 93 years old. I yep. think that's probably about right. Here's, an, here's another one. Let me see if I can see it. Ah, uh, they're flipping by so fast. What year did you... Uh, <laughs> they're... There's so many comments are going so fast. I can't see them. <laughs> they're just, people are typing questions and they're disappearing on the screen. Huh, huh. Well, I'll yeah. be here any time they want to ask me something. There you go. The I best, don't know if I'll have a straight answer for them. The best way is to come up here and ask you in person, right? Yeah. Oh, any hobbies? Well, yeah, I know one new hobby you just started. Yeah, yeah, planting seeds for wildflowers. Growing flowers. It's you really a lot of fun. I really enjoy it, and I recommend it. It's very inexpensive ho hobby and most delightful. It kind of has a spiritual uh, significance to, to put that tiny seed in some dirt and some water, and unbelievably, the sprout comes out of it and grows bigger and bigger. Isn't that beautiful? We don't have any little blossoms yet, but... Actually, one of the sprouts is almost a foot high. Really? The, yeah, they went up, up, up. It's just unbelievable. Already, wow. I'm looking forward to some little flowers. I mean, flowers. this has been weeks, right? It hasn't even been a month yet, has it? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they sprout out within about a day or so after you water them. Wow. It's just a miracle of life. It is. And uh, and we're we're augmenting this miracle of life by, by giving them uh, dirt and water, which is what they need. Oh, here somebody wants. Somebody's asking. Are we not, We all know the answer to this. Were you in World War II? Oh yeah, yeah. I was in the Navy in WW2. I was on the Iowa, the big battle wagon. And what was yeah. your position there? You. I was a communications officer. There you go. They sent me to Harvard, the communications school, to learn to to decode the top secret messages, and so that was one of my proficiencies. I used to decode the top secrets and put on my sidearm and go up and deliver them to the admiral up on the bridge. Wow. You're also in Korea, in the Korean War. Yeah, I got recalled during that and sent to Kodiak, Alaska, ah. which I really enjoyed. Alaska is an unbelievable country. And what did you do in Alaska? Well, I was at the naval, air, uh, naval um, station there and a communications officer, just like uh, on the ship. Okay. But I wasn't on a ship, I was at the station. Interesting. Doing the same thing. So I really uh, appreciated the honor of being in the Navy and and being an officer in the Navy. And it was a 
quite an honor for me, and I appreciate it. Well, everybody thanks you for your service. Well, I <laughs> I appreciate their thanks, but actually, I'm I'm the grateful one because I never got shot at, and they they gave me an education and a commission and interesting, worthwhile work to do, and. So the whole thing was a very positive experience for me. Okay. And I fortunately never got shot at or had a shoot at anybody else, so well, there you go. I avoided yeah. the, the horror of, of the of war. war. Really. Oh, yeah. well, that was terrible. Somebody, so somebody asked about grandchildren. How, how many grandkids do you have? Oh, golly me, I got, uh, well, my daughter, I got the two by my daughter and by my, my uh, other son, I've got, uh, oh, I think three or four, three, and my other son, uh, quite a few. So you got two sons and a daughter. Yeah. Wow. I must have a half a dozen grandchildren. Wow. I haven't counted them up. <laughs> well, we've met a couple of them here at the beach. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, that's for sure. Let's see, one more question. Anybody, one more question. Pop one up here for me. Everybody's thanking you, telling you you're such a great guy. Well, I don't know about that. I uh, appreciate all of them. I just here enjoying the journey. Yep. I'm I'm the one who's blessed. I'll tell you. Well, yep, I'm blessed too. We're all blessed. That's for sure. To the have, blessed, blessing to have all of these life. great friends right here on Facebook. Yep. Oh, the blessing of friends and the blessing of. Oh, life. here here's one. This will be a hard one for you to answer. Oh, no, nothing's too hard. Do to you answer. like to dance? Oh, I love it. I just love it. <laughs> I dancing. love dancing. That's one of your favorite things. <laughs> it's a toss up between hugs and dancing. Yeah, yeah. Well, dancing's a little of both. Well, it's a lot of fun. I, my old uh, underpinnings aren't quite that frisky anymore, so when I dance, <laughs> I more or less stand in one spot and shimmy around and let the lady do all your the work. Your underpinnings? <laughs> <laughs> the, lady, the ladies kind of frisk around and I kind of stand there oh, and smile that's and, great. and shimmy. And, but even so, I enjoy it. <laughs> well, you love life, that's for sure. We've seen you dancing. I've caught you on Facebook dancing. Even out here at the beach a couple times with some gals. <laughs> well, it's fun to waltz around, but like I say, I let them do all the work. <laughs> well, that's how it is in life, isn't it? The, yeah. the gals do all the work. They take care of everything. That's what it, that's what it seems like. The ladies yeah. do all the hard work. Yeah, we go off. We have our, our uh, you know, our trade and, our, and all that. But hopefully that's enjoyable. And we bring home, hopefully, the paycheck. And, and the gal does all the work. There you go. Well, that's how it used to be. Now things are changing. Well, that's now right. the ladies go off to work. Yeah, I guess they do. Yeah, yeah, they've got to be big executives of yes, corporations, and it's, it's amazing. Yep, it's, it is amazing. <laughs> well, I got a mosey. I got to get to work, but that was good. People enjoyed that. You got, well, got some good to, answers. Back in the old days, we figured the ladies didn't have the brains to be big. Uh, business yeah, people. Yeah, right. Shame on us. Huh? They, they were just supposed to be able to take care of the home and their husband. That was as far as their intellect went. Right. But the homemakers. But it seems that their brains are just as good, if not a heck of a lot better there than, you go. than ours. Yeah. <laughs> they showed us a thing or two. I'm sure. Well, you know, actually, when it comes to work out in, um, uh, in the industry, they probably work a little harder than we do because they, they want to prove themselves more than we do. They're probably a little more serious about it. And, yeah. and uh, you know, when we're at work, we tend to kind of look at the ladies and <laughs> well, they definitely look held, out the window. And <laughs> during the big wars, they, they're the ones that held the country together. Oh, while remember the, Rosie the Riveter? Yep, while the guys were out fighting, the oh, ladies were yeah. in the factories. And, it was Rosie the Riveter. Remember that? Yep. I, I don't know if you remember her, but yep. boy, she, she I was, was a symbol. I don't remember of, her. She I wasn't was, alive, but uh, I definitely a, know who it is. A symbol of all the ladies working. Yep. They, they riveted the ship together. Making her, making her muscle there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, Where some of it? them are very strong, too. I oh, hate to admit yeah. it, but they're stronger than the guys, some of them. You got that Very right. strong. And it's strong emotionally, too, which is a big thing. Yep. You know, they're used to hard times and aches and pains, and they seem to yep. be able to handle it. So hats off to the gals. There you go, Roy. That's the word of that the day. That was a good dissertation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Very good. All right.
Well, thank you for sharing a little bit about your life with us this morning. Uh, it's great. People love hearing it. They they really enjoy seeing you out here. That's uh, a real pleasure. They love seeing your smile and face. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next chat we'll break out the harmonica. Okay. All right. Good show. But Roy, have a great day. You too, Rob. Always great seeing. You. Always a pleasure. It's a delight. Everybody loves you. Their hugs are coming across the screen right oh, now. Bless them all. Yep. Well, tally ho. Tally -ho. Don't, don't trip Woo! over that, whatever that is over there. Yeah. It's a oh, mess. Yeah. Yep. All right, have a great day. Too, Beautiful out here. You can see oh, another one of the dredges, the dredging barges is heading out into the pass. Let's see if I zoom in, you can see it up there. We're gonna be finally cleaning out Wiggins Pass up there. Just a beautiful day here in Southwest Florida. It's looking north up the beach. Gorgeous. Del Norwegians Pass State Park in North Naples. A beautiful Wednesday. Tally ho, Roy. Gonna walk down the beach just a little further to where I started this morning. I have no idea what that is there on the beach. Something washed up. Hopefully they'll be able to get it off the beach. Oh, Roy is so much fun to talk to. Uh, here you are. Here I am. Did you fight? Did you catch me on Facebook? Yeah, you're a good man. You're a good guy. Well, thank you. So are you. Yeah, I remember I, you talked to me one time for a long time. I never even saw myself when you were talking. Oh. To me. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you have a good So you're a, vet, you're a veteran, huh? Yeah, you're... a long time ago. Long well, thank time you. Ago. Thank you. I got to come down here and did. sit up there with my friend. Oh, Roy. yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, Ron. Another one of our Facebook friends there, Ron. Yeah. So how long have you been volunteering over down here? I've been here five years now. Five years? Yeah. And it's it is, wonderful. It That's, is. I mean, I always encourage people that are retired here. We got so many retired people. What a beautiful place to come out. This is so. This is so wonderful. And uh, what it is too, if if you looked at the paper today, they've got red tide down in Marco oh, it's still and down everything there. else, and they've got red tide up at Barefoot on up, and we have nothing. It's gone away Just from here. Pretty Thank much goodness. so. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. And I think it's because of the way we're situated. We're situated in a bowl. Yep. With Marco and everything out here, and and Fort yep. Myers out here, and all that stuff bypasses yep. us. North. With the help, yeah, yep. with the help of the Caloosahatchee. Yeah. But we've yeah, got we a do. nice place. So right. you would definitely definitely recommend volunteering, huh? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> if you do, if you retire and do nothing. Uh -huh. You uh, the lifespan is probably about five years, but you have to do something because you just can't sit and vegetate. I mean, and this is kind of like a family out here, isn't it? Oh, I mean, yes. all all the different people you've met over those five oh. years, the same met, ones coming back every season. I've met people from ninety six different countries. Wow! So it's nice. It's a lot of fun. Especially well, that's, that's the other thing. Watching this right now, I mean, there's people from all around the world watching this right now. We got people oh, in yeah. Australia. They come Japan. in here. They come in here and it, it, the beach it changes constantly. Yep. All right, Rob. All I'm right. going to go down yep. and bother some people. There I'll you see go. You later. Thank All right. You very much. Enjoy Bye. the rest of your day. One of our great volunteers here. That is so cool. Like I said, when I started this beach walk earlier this morning, this is just like a family out here. Everybody's so friendly. It's pretty hard to be grumpy when you're out here. With all of the, you know, surrounded in all of this beauty. Just incredible. We're just about down to where I started this morning. Down in the middle of Area 4 Beach. The tide's just starting to come in. On its way in here. I'm going to give you one more look up the beach. I'll pan around here. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. 
take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. When you find something you like, hit the like button, hit the share button. We're all about sharing the beauty of Southwest Florida here at Southwest Florida Television. This is just a little portion of what Southwest Florida has to offer. If you want to see, learn about some more of the more of the funner, you know, different things to do, restaurants, shopping, you know, activities, entertainment, be sure to like Nonstop Naples. Check out Nonstop Naples on Facebook. Give that page a like. Look at this water, beautiful. I'm just gonna let you listen to the sounds of the waves here for a minute. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. And again, thanks for watching. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.